All right, how we doing, fellas? Today, <clears throat> it's kind of a gloomy day. It's been raining out. I was able to get some sets in, but I kind of wanted to talk to you guys and show you my uh, my bucket or my buckets that I carry <clears throat> and how I have it set up. And I had a couple guys message me and say, "Hey, what is that?" You know. Uh, you usually carry a pack basket or you usually carry, um, you know, a duffel bag. And <clears throat> I did for years carry a pack, well, a pack basket, especially when I'm like maybe hiking in from a spot or <clears throat> operating out of my ATV. But this year I was just all out of a truck. So I wanted to be very compact and just have everything where I needed it. Just carry one thing. I have to carry two things. <clears throat> so, with that being said, I'm gonna just kind of take a minute and I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna kind of show you some stuff and go through some stuff and how I have uh, my my bait and uh, equipment buckets set up. Give me a sec. All right guys, so this is uh, kind of the setup. What I ended up doing was I went through, and if you can see, I, I just bolted this other bucket onto this. So this is a two gallon bucket onto a five gallon bucket. And what I did was I ran thr through, I drilled through and I added these, if you can see the, that conduit. So a lot of people use this conduit for like pipe dream sets, but I think the best application for it is probably in your, uh, your bucket or your bait bucket. So I put those in, zip tied them down. I can put my, slide my driver in. And then I have my auger that I can slide down in. I use a thing of, you know, vice grip for whatever I need. And then I also have one down here, and this is for putting my anchors in um, for, or my stabilizers in for any of snares that I use. It also, it's also a pretty good little little tool to use to clean out my super stake heads. And then other than that, I just pop a sifter in. I don't really use a sifter much, but this year for some reason the, the ground was so so well conditioned, I just was like, ah, there's no use of using up my dry dirt that I made, so I'll just use that. And then I just run a four pound hammer and um, weld it on this uh, flat stock steel, put an edge on it, and use that as a digger. I, I had asked um, Tom Stalker to make me one, but he was a little wishy-washy and beat around the bush with me for months and months. And finally, I just decided, if you're not going to help me out and you don't want my money, that's fine. I, I'll make my own. So I ended up doing that. And then <clears throat> here is just the bait bucket. This is just full of the Moab, uh, the mother of all baits. And that is through Keg Creek. You can you can probably purchase that or or get a hold of him. And then this is just uh, some Top Dog that I use from <clears throat> excuse me from Hobens. And then this is just the real deal Coyote Pea. You can tell it's not uh, not see through. It's not like an orangish color. It's not like a tea color. It's dark and. Right here, I used another one of those handy dandy conduit pipes and that's where I keep my bait applicator. So, and I can slide that in and it's not going all over the place. It's not gonna pop out. It actually wedges in there very nice. So one thing I do do is I always, with this being here, I always keep the handle on this side so when it comes up, it's level when I lift it up and they don't weigh very much and it can get banged around and uh, you know you don't have to worry about poking holes through it like you do a bag or, or a pack basket and um, they're pretty cheap and pretty easy to make so I think this bucket was two dollars and I think this bucket well I think it was free because well someone paid for it but, but I didn't um, so other than that I had all the other parts just some screws and some uh, bolts and washers and or nuts and washers and screws and it it came together very nicely so 
Only other thing I, I will carry sometimes in this is my is my drill for my auger. Um, otherwise, I'm putting in sets. I'm I'm using the the either the Pulaski or the Pickmatic. So that's it, man. That's that's it in a nutshell. And I hope you guys uh, have a killer season and really um, get out there and enjoy yourselves and and hopefully you can make a little bit of money later